These might seem like two separate worlds, but this taxi rank and this shiny new office space both rely on renewable fuel for power. Uptown Oil in South London recycles used chip panel and converts it into biodiesel. But what's so good about it? So what are the difference between the sort of fuel you produce here and your average hydrocarbon that a taxi might fill up on? The major benefits with the um, biodiesel is 100% cut down on sulphur emissions, which the, what causes acid rain, 80% uh, reduction in carbon dioxide, and 60% reduction in particulates. With the CO2, if you imagine a, your average black taxi here, that, that we save, each taxi running on biodiesel will save about 6,000 kilos of CO2 a year. 2,000 kilos would fill up an, an Olympic sized swimming pool. Its green credentials are great, but why else would we use it? Because it's cleaner for, for London and it's like 20 pence a litre cheaper, so it's a lot better off for myself doing 40 quid a day on diesel cuts my costs down. Well it's very local to, for all the work, you're only five minutes from Waterloo Station. It's like 20 pence cheaper than anywhere up all the other garages around town. Um, and it's a matter of having to at the minute. I think there's about probably about four or five hundred of us use it. But we don't want to spread it around too much otherwise I'll be queuing up outside longer than I usually do. So it's good for our pockets too. But how does old chip fat become diesel power? Once it's been used, you've got food particulates and could be anything, cigarette butts, toothpicks, whatever. We basically do a straight filter, very crude to start with. We then pump the oil into settling tanks where any water and smaller particulates are settled out, which gives us a fairly pure used cooking oil in the heater tank. It's heated up to about 63 degrees. Then gets passed over into a processor where it's mixed with alcohol. Alcohol and vegetable oil make methyl ester and glycerol. After it's been in residence for some time, about 70 to 90 minutes. We put it through the glycerin separator over here. Once that's been done, all we have to do is pass it through an iron exchange unit, which will take out the excess soaps and catalysts, leaving us with a pure methyl ester, which is served as biofuels to taxis or to PWC for their offices. John Barnes is the man from PricewaterhouseCoopers who sees the benefit of biofuel. He buys in 45,000 litres from Uptown Oil every month to power the building using a process called tri-generation. Yeah, tri-generation is not really new technology as such, but, um, and it's a very, very efficient way of producing um, on-site power, heating and cooling. Um, but the real trick is what fuel you use in them. And obviously they can, traditionally they were used on diesel fuel or even gas. Um, but we've, what we've done in, this, in these particular engines is gone for biofuel. The biodiesel is used to fuel two large generators which create 25% of the electricity needed for the building. But apart from power, biodiesel also gives PwC a green edge. Your choice of fuel makes a massive difference to um, your carbon output and your carbon footprint for mm. the building. By using locally sourced biofuel, you're actually becoming zero carbon in all that production because of the fuel that you're using. As well as biofuel, the company also used solar panels on their roof and is thinking about hydrogen power. This is all part of PwC's vision of sustainability. We clearly set ourselves some, some, some quite harsh targets a number of years ago to save something like 20%, 25% of our uh, energy over the next, over the five year period, which was up to 2012. Um, and those were those have been stiff targets in our building for, portfolio to actually meet. Um, and it's involved a, a, a considerable amount of investment from the firm. From London's big buildings to its vast fleet of iconic cabs, biofuel is taking London in a greener direction. Tom Gibson, Energy Live News, Central London.